All right, so if you would like a free rec to send out here on Spawn PK, come by Long Bank, speak to the referral manager, type in my code right there, which is wrecked. With that, we are doing a $100 bond giveaway for today's video, so make sure you all like the video, comment down below your in-game name, and subscribe, as well as being notified for the first comment reward, which will be 120 bill cash. Spawn PK is such a great server, guys. Your boy Rexu's favorite. Click the links down below. More from Scratch Grinds. So I hope you enjoy. Let's hop into it. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get our boats out the way. Start our day off. Let's go. All right, all D-Zone Serbs are killed. Let's go ahead and claim the boat now. Easy. Now we get ourselves that boost. And the daily money making for voting completed. Easy money. All right, let's do our uh, Serbs here now. And the block. Yo, I just got two prize tickets right there, guys. We'll have to uh, open those up like right freaking now. I'm already wanting to open them up. I got the itch. All right, let's go over here. Grab those. Boom. Bang. Yo, I got a uh, mystery chest. After this, I'll actually go buy a uh, prize key as well and try to upgrade that to a grand prize key. And then I'll try, the, uh, I'll try to open that up real quick, see what we get. Okay, so I got myself a uh, donator box a few kills ago. That is all we got right there. Now let's check up the bank. Do we get any more uh, votes tickets? I think a few. But alright. Let's go buy ourselves a uh, prize key. We can actually buy two as well. From the ID zone and elite zone. So let's go ahead and get that. Also, what's that? Provides two times D zone tokens and all D zones for 60 minutes. That's pretty cool. Also, right quick, buy one from there. So now let's take these and try to upgrade. Okay, please work. I'm uh, begging you right now. Boom. Yo, no way. Yo, I'm so bad. All right. Well, uh, that's that's trash. Okay, I also just claimed the uh, achievement for Salvager 2 and Salvager 3 right there. Now, my uh, goal right now, guys, we're going to go back to uh, Nightmare. You know the gif. We're going to go to Nightmare, grind it out for a bit. Now we also found another way to like AFK Elder Chaos Druids. I'm not sure like they're not too great because they're packed out a lot, but yeah. So far in our Nightmare KC, 43,000 blood money. We got two curse crates yesterday on our uh, grind there, but I would love another one out of 2k drop. Even if Night Terror would pull through with a uh, Orb of Terror, like what? I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. Okay, so we have Hunlift spawning here in a moment. Dark Hunlift. But yeah, guys, we got up to 1,369 kills here at Nightmare. Let's actually go home real quick, and I'll show you all what we've gotten so far in our time here. And then we're going to go uh, check out that Dark Hunlift real quick as well and get that kill. Okay, so we're up to uh, 5,500 blood money. I was AFKing as well at my uh, new AFK spot. We also got a uh, epic mystery box, guys. So if we check out our uh, collection log, let's not waste time, though. Let's go, let's go to a Hunlift before it spawns. Let me show you all the uh, KC and Nightmares, so... We got ourselves another collection log with the epic pet box. So that's 5 out of 13 and 1,370 kills. Honestly, not too freaking shabby. Now, I also went and did some uh, imp hunting, but I'll go back there after this and do my daily again. And I'll uh, show you all what we've gotten there as well. But, hey. Boom. Yo, someone got the Dark Hunlift pet. No way. Only if, bro. Right quick, let's check out our uh, loot tracker. For a nightmare, 46,000 blood money, and we got the uh, epic box, but also 700 kills at the Elder Chaos. We got 34 goodie bags. They actually are camped quite a bit, so I don't do them often, but they're definitely just something to do like here and there while I'm not doing literally anything or some extra goodies. So we'll actually take out these guys, and um, of course, you know, wrecked you. We could sell those, make ourselves some spliffy GP, but I could get lucky this way. So good luck. Yeah, spellcaster is all I really want. Starting off not the best, unfortunately. All right, final two. Well, all right, we didn't get any of the uh, spellcasters. That's actually quite sad. Now let's go ahead and uh, sell off all of our uh, blood money. I probably should have sold those goodie bags. Sag. Anyways, selling off the uh, blood money. We're going to keep our spellcasters for uh, glove upgrades when I finally uh, want to attempt those. But yeah, let's sell off the blood money real quick. 5,700. Or 19 mil. All right, so how much is the epic pet box going for? Let's check. Pretty much 100 bill. We're gonna sell that, guys. The odds of me actually getting anything too great out of it are pretty slim, so I'll take the extra GP right there. Also, the blood money sold. Lots an extra 100 bill cash. We'll take it. But yeah, we're gonna go imp hunting right now, so that is our current goal. Get our uh, daily out the way, and then I'll show you all the amazing rewards this shit makes. I, I swear, it's so good. 
but we do our imps pretty much every day now having loads of fun especially with the uh, blood looting bag makes it so more efficient which is honestly quite insane but yeah this is our plan we'll be back in a little while and show you all the imps let's look at the bank imps we got two lucky imps look at the screen boys we got ourselves a lucky imp again bro that's the second episode in a row we've gotten lucky and we actually got it doubled which is so crazy obviously uh, we are selling that right there like what the hell that's so good money oh two of those for about let's say how much should i even sell them for guys like three ten bill that is so freaking good now we're pretty much up to a trill right there in the trade post with those two lucky imp pulls i so rare bro that's like insane money if you actually get a lucky imp every hour like think about how much uh, money that is obviously they're super rare but it's just so cool to have the idea anyway oh wait 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 why am i okay we're also gonna sell these imps as well guys y'all know me recently i've been opening but i feel like we're gonna make a lot more gold now by just selling these bad boys off so all of those real quick for about eight bags each we're gonna make a lot more gold this way also all of our accursed imps right there guys will sell for about I'd say four bill, four bill each. And then we'll sell our uh, two infernal as well. Freaking money. We'll sell both of those for 20 bill. So that's definitely gonna throw us way over a trill now, guys. Yeah, look at that. 1.1 trill pretty much in our trade post. And we have a lot of gold right here. We're looking so fucking good. All this extra stuff, 92 point boxes right there. What the heck? 2.2 trill cash all right 92 point boxes holy shit we got 50 lms points for that 200 slayer 120 blood two donator boxes 15 more point let's go we are like one slayer task away from rank 25 here on a you know the blood slayer which is freaking insane once we reach rank 25 we'll actually be able to unlock the uh, slayer cave which might call stay uh Quite a bit of points let me check real quick how many uh, points that will cost me for the uh slayer cave right here yo only uh 500 so yeah i'll actually be able to unlock the uh, slayer cave right after this let's go ahead and get ourselves a, a quick task and let's get through a bit of this guys so we got hydras i don't want hydras no thank you we'll also get our uh, vote boost out and our uh, double lauren scroll for a little bit but yeah i want to go check out that blood cave after this guys and that's freaking new content for us let's go Honestly, you can make a lot inside the cave if you actually camp it out the uh, right way. But let's get a, a vote boost out and our uh, double Lauren scroll. And let's begin, guys. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure I was off by a couple of Slayer tasks. So I think I need one more after Scorpio right here. We'll go check, though. We, it never hurts to check. I can't wait to try out the Slayer cave, though. Most players do this type of... I don't know. I actually haven't been in the uh, cave in so long. I can't tell you what players do. Let me know if they caves more like let me know if they caves better to grind than just normal slayer like i've been doing i kind of want to know from players that truly camp out slayer a lot but i'm gonna go check it out after uh, yo 12 chaos ellie i'm a rank 24 yeah it's our last one and we get ellie that's beautiful all right let's uh hurry up get food let's uh take on ellie guys hopefully get ourselves a beautiful ring drop or or two one out of 500 for an 80 bill ring like come on that is rank 25 let's go we're also uh one more daily and we have a uh, daily right here guys we'll get ourselves a, a treasure casket 10 challenge tickets but yeah let's trade let's trade blood slayer cave boys are we doing this right now boom let's go yo read that bad boy now we can uh i think teleport yeah and we can go down to a, a, the Slayer Cave. Yo, I'm so freaking excited right now. And now we have a, a Master here where we can actually get ourselves a, a task. 30 Enraged Abyssal Demons. Alright, there's like multiple NPCs. They all drop like quite a bit of stuff. You can really make money inside the cave. The thing is, like, if you do get like yells, they could get, you know, PKers probably come, you know? You gotta be safe in the cave. But it's super cool. And... They also drop these two thaws, which we're going to use to fight a boss at the very end. That has a chance to drop like relics, dude. It's crazy. 
But yeah, let's find uh let's find these abyssals and let's begin. There's multiple NPCs. Here's the abyssal demons. Here we go. Slayer Cave grinds here on spawn PK now officially unlocked. I'm excited. Now we can grind this. We got 30 kills, but it should count as a uh, Slayer task for Blood Slayer. So that should also count toward our uh, daily. And I'll uh, let you know what we get throughout. Oh, I probably need my... Uh, it's probably smart here to bring your uh, Blood Bag and not your Yoshi. And let all the loot just go to your uh, bag. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it is anyway. It's like everything goes to your inventory here, so... It's always uh, better to have more drop rate with a looting bag, I suppose. Also, pretty sure you got to find your way out. Unless there's a different way, but I, I think once you leave, it teleports you out there. Then you have to run back to the Mage Bank spot. So you have to be really cautious here. But let's go ahead and get our uh, blood looting bag out. First freaking Slayer Cave task complete right there. Bowl with 60 points as well. Yo, that's amazing. All right. So I'm thinking my idea. We have 21 more minutes until I can teleport. I could either be risky and just like go up here and run out, but I could also stay for another 20 minutes then just teleport out freely. But that's risking 20 more minutes of a, a PK or possibly coming and killing me. Kind of risky. But uh, I don't know guys, I'm kind of feeling like it. Feeling like a risky boy. All right, another one. 21 Enraged Rune Dragon. These are These are like right here, aren't they? Yeah, they're back here. Enraged Rune Dragons. Okay. What do these bad boys drop? YouTube, let's go. Let's go. What's good? Yo. Yo. I love to see everybody, like, actually is recognizing this suit meets her account. I love it. All right, guys. We're going to sit here and do this one. We have 21 kills here. And um, unless we die, you want to see the blood looting back after our first one? That's what it looks like. Pretty OP, actually. Yeah, these even drop Vorkath teleports. Those are actually pretty decent. Warcat, 100% worth killing here on spawn PK, so I'll probably be putting those uh, t teleport tabs to use for sure. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Fuck off, bro. Call him a nerd. We're gonna lose so much here. Not too much, I guess. But we're gonna be ripped our Warcat teleports no freaking way. Did we at least try to get out? I think so. We can oh. Yeah. Never mind. Good fight. Unfortunately, boys. Yeah, so from my experience doing the cave, I know it's really good money, but PKers are very hot there. So staying there like any longer than like 10 minutes at a time really isn't in your odds. So do a task, get out all your best method, or just do regular Blood Slayer. We'll probably do the cave here and there, but it was really just more to unlock it, I guess, for now. But yeah it's really a good thing like if we get the keys and stuff like i said the relics and all that we can pull from the boss at the end stuff like that so we got five treasure caskets right here good luck we have a lot of these uh emblems here guys all right so let's see if anything sold in our trade post out of everything we had here yo both luckies beautiful all right guys so let's check out the bank now how much cash do we have 2.7 trill plus we have all the other stuff in the trade post. We're looking really good with uh, money-wise. We're at least halfway to our Skatiza bow. All right, I'm thinking about buying myself a Celestial. Combined effect of Alien and Yoshi Pet. It's only a Trill. Or I could go with the Enchanted, which is any fused Yoshi. I wonder if the Enchanted have a good sell value. Enchanted uh, Yoshi, 1.8, 1.9 Trill. And they definitely sell. All right, guys, we're going to buy the Enchanted Yoshi, and then I'll uh, trade that up once I have enough gold to buy my next uh, weapon upgrade that I want, which is that bow. All right, so 1.8 troll right there. Pretty much all of our cash, but I can actually sell the uh, Yoshi and Alien now, which will also help out. So it's actually a pretty cool idea that we did do that. Now we can literally just have one pet out at all time, and we can sell our Yoshi and Alien back to the uh, trade post now and then we'll uh, also sell the grand ring and enchanted yoshi once i feel like i have enough gp to swap back over to the uh skatizo bow when i have enough gp you know so yeah for now we'll we'll do it this way alien 175 bill we made some gold back and we got ourselves an enchanted yoshi also another player came in with some more boot hookups so uh, shout out to mge 
for the uh, boot attempts right here, guys. So we're going to go back into it. We have 90 boots each. Come on. Armor enchanted boots. 27 attempts. Please. Please. Oh my god. 33 attempts. Also, right click, let's sell off the uh, bounty cape and all the uh, Loring keys. Also, our uh, blood shards or blood diamonds here. We have a load of blood diamonds. So, I'm just going to go ahead and sell them off here, guys. We have 180. So I'll sell those for like six, uh, 600 mil a piece. We'll sell all the uh, Loring keys right here as well for 45. We'll sell 18 for 45 bags, so 4.5 bill. And all the uh, bounty capes as well. I'd already have uh, Loring keys here. Yo, 20 more. Yo, they, they won't sell. All right, 38 Loring keys actually for 45 bags. So they're they're, they're going to eventually sell. And of course, all bounty capes for about 16 bill a piece. We take that gold. All right, so up to 1.1 true on the trade post. All diamonds sold instantly. Probably could have went higher with that many, but all right. We'll probably wrap up the episode right here, guys. Got the Enchanted Yoshi back up to a trill. Another trill on the trade post. Feels good. The money grinds are here. We unlocked the Blood Cave all around. Enjoying the grind, guys. So I hope you are as well. I'll see you on the next one. I love you. And peace.